What is going on, everyone? Monday Night Football just ended. We had some good football tonight, and it starts with the Bears' defense. They played phenomenal. The addition to Khalil Mack is something special. Not only was it just a, a great addition on the field, but it, it made everyone step up. Every single player on that defense stepped up once Khalil Mack was added to this roster. That, that made a statement to the team. That made a statement to the organization when Khalil Mack was brought in. We're going to be beasts on defense. Six sacks later, I think they proved their point. Now, some players, when they get a contract like that, they kind of take it easy. I got what I wanted. I got paid. Khalil Mack is making a statement. You hear John Gruden. You hear the Raiders talk about it. We need a pass rush. Oh, okay. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The Bears' defense won this game. They were just outstanding. A pick six to steal the game, to solidify the W. Russell Wilson just <laughs> literally threw a, a threw a route that was read perfectly. Pete Carroll's face on the sideline was like this. Stunned. Absolutely stunned. So let, let's take a gander at how this game played out. The final score was 24-17. to 17. It really wasn't that close all game, I'll be honest with you. The Bears' defense essentially shut them down for a long period of the game. They scored a useless touchdown there late. The Seahawks are not used to this type of adversity. They're going through some sort of a rebuild, but they still have Russell Wilson who's trying to make plays. Their offensive line's not helping. They did pick up a nice tight end in the draft, I will say that. On defense, it's a total rebuild. You lose big-time players. You have Earl Thomas still back there. You have the Griffin brothers. One of them had two interceptions tonight. One was a really nice play. The other one was on a tipped ball by a linebacker. I believe it's Michael Kendricks. He was all getting fired up. I'm going to shut up. Go to jail, you loser. Go to jail. When you look at the Bears' offense, because we know their defense won the football game, but, let, but let's look at their offense. Mitch Trubisky. I actually like him. I know that there's a lot of people out there saying he stinks, he stinks. He threw two touchdowns, two interceptions today. I don't think he stinks. I think some players take a little bit longer to, the de to develop than others, and he's one of them. He's not a Mahomes. He's not a Sam Darnold. Even Jason Witten was talking about it on the broadcast. There's times where he needs to make plays happen. The one interception that Griffin made a beautiful play he needs to get a little bit more on the ball and lead his receiver. There was a play action, middle of the field, wide open, missed the receiver. He needs to nail those right on the money. He needs to get that. And I think he will. It just takes a little bit of time to develop some players. I don't think he stinks at all. I actually like the Bears' offense. They got some nice pieces on the sides of them. Robinson, Trey Burton. Come on, being an Eagles fan, I see Trey Burton. I see the Philly special just playing in repeat. I like Trey Burton. He's a nice player. He's a really good player. You have playmakers. They got something out. They get the W. They're 1-1. One one. Yeah, they had a heartbreaker last week in Lambeau. They respond with a win. That defense was tremendous tonight. I love defense. Defense wins games. Come on, I'm an Eagles fan. Defense. It's great. And what they put on display is outstanding. The addition of Khalil Mack is so beautiful. You had a team that knew that they were good at defense and brought it to an elite level of confidence with just the addition of him. You have Smith getting in there. Obviously, they draft him pretty high. He does well. He's playing alongside an elite player like Khalil Mack. You learn things. I know different positions, but you, you learn things from veteran guys like that with, with that type of mindset. Going back to the Seahawks, 0-2. Are they going to find a way to get out of this one, or are they just in a, a weird rebuild, but Russell Wilson mode? I don't know. I do like the story of the tight end for the Seahawks. I do like the story of the brothers, obviously, the one with... The one hand who he's got a motor and he works his ass off and you've got to respect that. But they're in a they're in a bad spot right now. Bears, not so much. Absolutely, not so much. 
it was a fun game. It was very entertaining. Uh, I, I thought some, some Monday night games could be boring. Same with the Thursday night games. I was very intrigued. I think the Bears D dominated. He, they're flushing Russell Wilson out of the pocket, sacking, strip fumbling, stripping him, intercepting pick six. I mean, it was it was artwork the way that defense played tonight. It was a useless touchdown at the end. That don't mean nothing, especially when you take the money line. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.